All right, guys, I'm out again with the fellows from Pressable Defects. We're heading down to Brooklyn this time to check out a comic book warehouse. All right, guys, we're going to be heading down there right now, but please, if you could, hit the subscription button along with the notification bell. Please, if you enjoy the video, hit the thumbs up as well. Now, without further ado, I'm meeting these fellas, and we're heading down to Brooklyn. All right, guys, we are heading into Brooklyn, heading down to this warehouse. Uh, super excited to see what's going on. Super excited to see the cats, the security system. Oh, and this is this is it. This is New York, and you see the bridge. You see the bridge over there, can you? No, you can't. You see Jay. What's up, party people? What's up, party people? All right, we'll be there soon. Here we go. It's a nice shot over there. Still crossing the bridge, but I thought you guys might want to see something like this. A little hazy out there. There you go, here's a better shot. COVID is still at risk, wear your mask. Wear your mask, COVID is at risk. We just got off the exit. If you looked real close, you could see the top of Lady Liberty on the top of that green building. Her hands just sticking out. I don't know if we caught it. But here we are. Brooklyn Nets we have, Training Center. We have made it. DK? We are in Brooklyn. Let's die. And what do they have in Brooklyn? Costco. <laughs> so apparently, it's, it's, oh, it's, right here, it's around here somewhere, guys. Yo, when we said warehouse, we oh, meant it. Kid. This is a straight up is warehouse. A this is it? This is oh, it. that looks really familiar. This is it, yeah. From previous videos. Here we go. Oh Let's get in. And we're dead. <laughs> Straight up the stairs. This is the beginning of a horror movie. Oh, yeah, oh, mask on. Here we go. Oh, yeah. <laughs> I hope this looks as good as it does uh, on the camera as it does in real life. Uh -huh. Welcome to the warehouse. Hey, how are you, Joe? There he is right there, Joe. There's the man. Hello? Oh. Hey. Oh, am I walking in? Oh, this is where we walk in? Warehouse is this way. It's coming around. This is so cheap. <laughs> We got a sweatshop going on over here. Definitely just uncovered something, something illegal. Hey, goes the grandpa from uh, Three Ninjas. <laughs> <laughs> Holy smokes, guys. <laughs> oh boy, this is gonna this is gonna take a while. Alright, let's wait. We have a certain specific appointment time and then we'll get in. To make sure we get the floating head on the Christmas tree. Nothing says Merry Christmas like this guy. Well, this is our all season tree. Oh, oh, okay. Oh, that's true. Okay. Yeah. There you go. A lot of toys. Was he in there? This is. Uh, here you go, guys. You ready? There you go. Do a little, do a little zoom. So, there's a lot of comics. Yeah. We're going to need a tour. Unrolling them, we have no idea what we got. We're happy to sell them, but we, they're not a dollar. We be pricing them on the fly. This is awesome, man. Okay, that is a, mostly Marvels over there, alphabetical. 
The Alpha, there's another run over here that's Marvel, DC's, and Independence. I think it's actually labeled NYC. Uh, then there's, you know, an assortment of boxes that used to be in some kind of order that may, may not be anymore. Independent run starts over here. And down there, there's more collections in the middle here. These are all Wizards and Heroes. And oh, that's awesome. Okay, so this is all dollar. Everything up here is a dollar, unless somebody snuck something in here that shouldn't be snuck in. So basically everything in this town is a dollar? Right. Okay. Except the books. Yeah. Uh, uh, I, 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 I'm uh, you know, Dr. Pepper uh, Star Wars and Terminator cans. Uh, right, uh, the only exception again is the postal, if they're still unrolling, there's a vertigo run down at the end that you can see that's a dollar. This is all bagged sets for a dollar per book, however many books in the set. Uh, then this is uh, out, uh, out in the back there, you'll see a whole bunch of trade paperbacks, they're all five dollars. And the five is there in two or three places, this, this entire aisle, all the trades in this aisle are five dollars. Magazines are mostly three dollars, but there are some exceptions. Okay. Okay. This is okay. This is another dollar alphabet. It starts over here and flips down there. Uh, this is uh, beer memorabilia. Hey, we got it all. There you go. Uh, anyway, so this is Archie's. These are Harvey's. They are priced by guide, twenty percent off. Last aisle is all vinyl and uh, some CDs and cassettes. Cool. The vinyl bleeds out over here, so you can see that. Like, you know, it keeps, it keeps on coming. All right, then. There's more. Uh, okay, so that's the trying to be easy stuff because it's all, kind of all price. This is a two-dollar bronze and copper for uh, two-dollar piece wholesale to dollars. So if you're doing that, uh, something else. Uh, this is kind of a work section, although there are some titles in here. Uh, you know, uh, I mean, everything is anything can be. Right. So, cool. uh, uh, here we have an exciting collection of tarot cards. What more could you ask for? <laughs> uh, okay, this is a collection we're dealing with right now. Uh, okay, there are two inventories that are sort of either hot books or older books, which is this one here. And they're not, for the most part, not priced. You pull them, you don't refile anything. I price them, then we refile them. There's another inventory again, hot books or older books. This, this, the rest of the file is all collections and story arcs. You know, so complete story, you know, like Batman Legend of the Dark Knight taking the price down. Story arcs, it's all, all story arcs. You can't, you can't take singles out of here. Okay, these are sold as sets, okay. All right, so uh, this inventory is singles. This keeps going. It just goes. This is more collections, more collections. There's an alphabet that runs through the warehouse that uh, we can't keep in one continuous run. That's about 800 boxes long. And that's E and Z. Uh, it's over. 80 yep. to 2000. Start there, A, G, D to H, H, M, M to T, and then it kind of breaks off into different sections. Cool. Alright, there's aisles uh, of boxes. Just no idea. Uh, Variants and stuff are mixed in all here. Which one? Like variant covers and stuff like that. Ver modern stuff that basically would be in those two runs out there. Okay, up front. This is 1980 uh, 2000. They weren't screwing around with variant covers all that much. That okay. Long. And is everything marked to price or you price? No, no. I okay. have price everything. This is this is actually a working run. Okay. I mean, you can look through it. And yeah, that's fine. We appreciate you having it. So get to work. He's overwhelmed. Yeah, extremely. Oh, more. oh, good. Oh, God. All right. Look at this magazine, uh, magazine inventory back there and some more posters. Okay. And more records. Uh, next aisle is sets as well. Sets. All right. And that's, that's it? <laughs> Man, doesn't seem like much. We are going to get lost in here. All right. Let's start digging. Is that, is that uh, everything? I think this I has got to be over He went back. Dude, my man went back into his cave, and now it's up to us. He just, like, he good, he just said good luck. Where did he say the modern door? <laughs> oh, man. All right, guys. We're going to start digging. We're going to start digging. What the hell was that?
Can't express or explain just how much is here. Uh, boxes on top of boxes that aren't marked, kind of labeled, it's not really. I see an X Force and X Men one up there. I'm gonna pull that one down and see if there's anything good in there. All right, let's see if we can find Jay. No, he's not down here. Think there's anything good in that stack? We're not gonna find out. No, I don't see him here. Guys, it's floor to ceiling, man. It's overwhelming. Too much. There he goes. Spotted him. It's too much. Can't. Oh, there he goes again. Can't look. Can't, uh. That wind. Can't, uh, look through all of this. Have yet to see the cats. There he is. Oh, shit. <laughs> Hey, Jay, any luck? No, nothing. nothing yet. It's almost like uh, you need to go way up there and find a box. Yeah, You're like, you know what? This one hasn't been touched in 20 years. Let me take the couple layers of dust off of it. What do you think all those books are, Jay? Look up above you. Well, well, I'm climbing up there. Oh, they're all magazines. The guy's got records, too. So I found where the cats do their thing. They're around here somewhere hunting vermin. Look at this. I haven't even been down this aisle. It's a nice piece of furniture right here, guys. Almost as nice as this one. Oh, jeez, I haven't even been back here. All right, I'm going to start digging, see if we can find something. Still digging. Trying to find something. Trying to find something. We have, we have a nice little pile, but it's not anything to write home about. Oh, that's good. Yeah, pull those. That's the first Thanos story, isn't it? That's all right, don't worry about that. Whoa! We'll see what they say. It ain't gonna be worth it, but let's pull. Let's hope. The man's digging, and look who we found over here. One of the assassins. The security system. Dr. Pepper, anyone? Toys? I think we're about to wrap up. Go get some pizza. Well, that was terrible. Yeah, we tried. Just, uh, I've never dug so long without finding a goddamn thing. No, and then when we finally found oh, a yeah. dozen books, my man broke out eBay, and we are like, all right, we'll be back in a little bit. I need a tetanus shot, a COVID swab, <laughs> and an AIDS test. <laughs> but the good news is we are going to get some pizza. I think that was the first place to have the tightest. <laughs> yeah. All right, so here we go. We just left the comic book warehouse empty-handed. But the most important part of the video is coming up next. We are now looking for a pizza place. Most specifically, what's the name? Uh, get this lady, she's hot. What's the name? <laughs> Johnny's. We're going to Johnny's back, in, going back to Westchester. We're going back to Westchester, going to Johnny's. Where, is that East Chester? Mount Vernon. Mount Vernon. The, the famous Johnny's, guys. Famous Johnny's in Mount Vernon. Give, giving Gary a taste of the best pizza in the country. <laughs> All right, guys, we're here. Where are we, Jay? Johnny's Pizza in Mount Vernon. The famous Johnny's Pizza. Johnny's Pizza in Mount Vernon. We have, what's on this bad boy? Cherry peppers. Cherry peppers. You're going in for that? You're going to, I mean, we're going to have to take you to hospital. I can't third wait. degree burns. Third degree burns. I, if there were third degree burns. Dude, that thing so is legit. smoking though. Oh, Gary, I can't wait for you. I'm ready. I am ready. You see the steam coming off this thing. It's going from a comic book video to a pizza review. Yo, this pizza is ridiculous. <laughs> this is no, if you guys like thin crust, I mean, bar still rated. That's like a razor right there. This is unbelievable in the crunch. Mmm. Look at that. The crisp, bro. Oh yeah. Isn't We're gonna eat better? all of this. Isn't mm -hmm. this better than mm -hmm. that? 
This is all gonna be gone. Hey, guys, it's been 10 minutes, and yo, this, this is all we have left. That's it. This is the best part of the day. This is it. This was better than the comic hunting. Oh, God. Stay tuned to see what we ended up with. We're back. How'd you do today? Let me show you guys. We're gonna put all the haul video is in this video. So Matt, how'd we do guys, today? Guys, Here's guys. The, look at this haul yeah, from the warehouse. Yep. Boom. Nothing. That's what we got from the warehouse. All right, guys. So you saw Matt's short box there. We went home with nothing, empty-handed, completely. Just a. I don't want to say waste of time because it was fun. It's always a good time hanging out with friends and digging through long boxes. We did find a stack of books that we wanted. We were, they weren't tremendously huge books. Uh, Green Lantern 25, you know how, I, if you're a fan of the show, you're a fan of the channel, you know how I feel about that book. First Larflees, Atrocitus, and all that. Um, I did find one of those. We found some, uh, Matt did find an X-Men 4, First Omega Red. And now these books were not pristine. They were not near mints. They were ticks left and right. But we were like, you know what, while we're here, let's pull some stuff that we know has a little bit of value and stuff what we wanted. And when we brought the big stack, I say big stack, you know, not that much stuff for all the books you saw. Uh, he started looking up prices on eBay and everything. I'm like, you know what? Let's just, it wasn't worth all the work we were going to have to, it was just wasn't worth it. Um, you know, but it was a fun day. It was a fun trip. The pizza was absolutely outstanding, if that matters. Uh, and it is what it is, you know, lesson learned. I'll never be there. I'll never go there again, but it was a lot of fun. So Guys, if you enjoyed the video, please hit the thumbs up. Uh, leave a comment. Let me know what you think. The just massive quantity of books. There was a point where I pulled down a box. It said Thor. It was probably like three, three or four shelves up. I pull it down. Ton of dust come down on me. Just, just disgusting. I mean, coming down. And uh, I'm after coughing or whatever, flipping through. It was like three quarters of a long box full of like three different Thor title uh, issues. So it's like, you know, I don't need this this copy of Thor 800 times. So it was still a blast. That was still a fun, but a fun time. Fun time with friends. Uh, anyway, please, guys, again, hit that thumbs up. Uh, new content Mondays, Thursdays, live shows, random live shows, small midweek videos once in a while. Uh, I appreciate it. Leave a comment. Let me know what you think. And as always, keep it comics.